I want to briefly share in this video the idea that you don't have to love animals, you don't have to be an animal lover in order to be uh, a vegan. And while this may be very obvious to some, it may not be so much to others. And I know for myself, uh, in the past I had this perception that somebody who was a vegan was just all about animals and loving them and they're the greatest things and you're almost obsessed or infatuated with them, you know. Um, and that's really not the case. You know, it's no different really as um, my girlfriend said. It's not like you have to love black people or you don't have to be partial to them to have wanted to end slavery or things like this. Um, or I would add to that, you know, say woman and wanting to help women's rights. It's not that you're partial to them or see them as, um, as, as better than men or this or that or you're obsessed with them. It's just that supporting them and obtaining rights same with um you know children is a good example um i don't i myself i'm not really like into kids i don't think that they're there's i'm not like wow oh, they're so amazing or anything like that you know they're just kind of like whatever to me but um that doesn't mean that if somebody were to try to violate them or take advantage in some way or harm them um, being as they're more weak and vulnerable than, than adults, uh, doesn't mean I wouldn't want to defend them just because I'm not a, really into kids or something, you know, uh, so I think you get the point, you know, and of course people are going to say, or some people may say, as many people do, well, that's not a good, that's not, I don't like that comparison because, um, you're comparing humans with uh, animals. Well, you know, at the end of the day, we do have differences, and well, um, we do have differences in many regards, just like we have differences within humans ourselves. Uh, at the end of the day, we all feel pain, we're sentient, we all bleed, you know? And, uh, as I was listening to a lecture from the professor, um, Stephen Best, he talks about, uh, and the idea of differences, seeing, why do we always have to see our differences as something that we then establish hierarchy from, instead of just our differences being our differences? Why do we have to dominate? Why do we have to do all these kinds of things? And I take that even a step further, and I'd say, since when did domination become something that um, gives us the right to to cause harm or to inflict pain, to imprison, to torture, to kill? Since when does dominance equal that, you know? If anything, dominance can or should be um, the opportunity to protect to take care of, to nurture, whatever needs to be done, not to enslave and, and take advantage of that power that you have. And so, um, you know, again, back to when people say, well, that's, you, you know, you're comparing uh, humans and animals. Well, um, another thing I would add to that is the view that people... Uh, the way people will view other people, people will view because of the color of your skin, because of your um, your sex, your sexuality, your views, your age, um, your abilities, your handicaps, and so on. And they'll say, "Well, that person is is um, less than human," or they'll put you into this category, and then that justifies the actions that can then be taken against that, that individual or against that group. And so, really to say, oh, we can't compare. Yes, we can compare. And that's an important, very important comparison to make. It's important to look back at things historically and to look at things that are going on now as well and make that comparison and say, hey, we need to stop in our tracks. We need to look at what we're doing. And then 
take action to um, remedy this or to take action to stop participating in it, to stop contributing to suffering, to murder, to torture, to rape, to imprisonment, and so on. And so, um, to all the people who want to keep using that term for themselves and say, I'm an animal lover, you really need to look at it and say, are you being hypocritical? Are you, um, are you saying, uh, well, I like, you know, you're just using that term, but, but what are you really thinking about what it means? Are you really, are you you know, taking your dog out for a walk, and, oh, I love animals, or riding your horse, or whatever, and then you're turning around, and then you go home, and you eat a, um, a steak for dinner, you know, you have, uh, some cheese pizza, and all these things, so, you really need to examine that, and then stop using the term, or have your um, actions align with what you consider yourself or the label you want to give yourself because otherwise it's really preposterous. Again, I don't even personally consider myself an animal lover. To me, animals just kind of like whatever. They can be interesting sometimes, you know. I think as I get older, I find them to be, um, I appreciate them more just as I appreciate lots of different uh, people or lots of different things, places in life. But um, I'm not obsessed, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't call myself a lover or infatuated, yet I feel as, for example, with children, there's something that, um, should be, uh, defended from those who want to cause harm to them, and that's really what it comes down to. Thanks for watching.